for next semester and it's pretty intense. I was like, I've not been as successful on the platform. People actually watch my videos. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell from the video's title, um, I'm quitting YouTube. So, let's just go ahead and I can do my makeup while I tell you about some of the reasons why I'm going to go ahead and just call it quits. So, contacts first. It's amazing what contacts can do for you. So, the main reason why I'm making this decision to quit the YubiTubes <laughs> is basically um, next semester I'm going to be starting some, this is my last semester, so I'm a senior, so next semester is like it. Um, and so I'm starting some really intense like, ed TPA. So that is the plan for next semester and it's pretty intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup while I'm talking to y'all. Um, start off with um, sunscreen. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration sunscreen. Uh, <laughs> the bottle brick or the, the little jar brick, so I just put it in this one, but I love it. It's fantastic. So yeah, um, it's really intense. My older sister has gone through it and it is no joke. Um, so I really, that's really important to me that I do well in it. And so, um, well, I'm not getting it in my eye, what the heck? And so I really just want to take some time to focus on it and not really have to worry about YouTube so much and just really take all of the requirements, like the extra stuff out like and so strip down my life basically to the main essentials that I need so that I can really focus on the TPA and all that. Let me tell a contact. I have sunscreen in my eye. That was stupid. Only while filming, y'all. Yeah. Wash my hands up real quick, y'all. That's literally never happened to me before, so <laughs> figures. All right, <laughs> where were we? Okay, uh, I did sunscreen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer. I love, love, love the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have two shades that I use and I kind of go back and forth between. Uh, this one's Light Ivory and this one is Fair Beige. I think I'm gonna use this one since I'm a little more uh, pale in the, the winter like everybody else. Okay, so that's the first reason why I'm quitting YouTube. A second reason was I have not been as successful on the platform as I initially expected. It was a lot more work. Uh, and the like rate at which I was growing is just like super slow and I'm like this is crazy I did not realize it was this hard to get subscribers. I thought you have decent videos and You seem to try hard on them or whatever people will just show up, but that has not been my experience <laughs> and so I Just thought it would take off quicker than it has and so I really was not anticipating you know having to work this hard to like make it grow and everything. So, I mean, YouTube's a, a big deal. Like it's a, it's a full-time thing. And that brings me to my next reason why I'm quitting. And it is because it is a full-time thing and I have another job. I'm a student. I um, have a, you know, I have to do school, but then I also have other jobs that I have to do. And so I'm not able to really spend the amount of time that I want to on my videos it's just kind of like you know squeeze something here and there and it's like I can't make them like as high quality as I would like because I don't have the time I just have to like you know little snatches of weekends where I have like you know not that much to do and so I have to just like get it done and I'm someone who I'm a perfectionist I do not like to do anything halfway I just like it to be, you know, perfect or not do it at all, you know? And so it's just really hard for me to be like, here you go, here's the video, I'm not super proud of it, I didn't spend that long on it, but I have to get one out, so like, there you go. I don't, I don't like to do anything halfway, you know? So like, if it, if I'm gonna do it, I, wanna, I want it to be good. And I just don't have the time to make it good. So for me, I'd rather just devote my time to something else that I know I can make good, like my schoolwork, I could really, you know, try super hard on that. I have been trying, but I have not been trying as hard recently. Um, thankfully, it has not been reflected in my grades. <laughs> but, um, 
I could definitely do better. And so I'd rather do one thing well than a bunch of things kind of like mediocre, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. The shade is uh, light beige. It's too dark for me, it oxidizes annoyingly, but it's still pretty nice. I still really enjoy it. So another reason, and this is actually, this might even be the main reason. If this wasn't part of it, I don't know if I have really the urge or the inclination to wanna quit. And that is, I really just want to enjoy my life and not feel like I have to document, you know, oh, we're gonna go to uh, the valet and that's like really cinematic and beautiful. I need to film it so I'll have like a really good video. Like, that's the same kind of issue I was um, running into with Instagram. You know, like I wanted to document everything because I was like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity. It's beautiful. I'll get, you know, beautiful pictures and everything. Let me document it. And it just, that's one of the reasons why I quit social media in the first place is I didn't like that. I wanted to be able to enjoy my life and not feel like I have to document everything. And so YouTube was getting to be that. You know, I was like running out of video ideas and I was like, oh, I'll vlog this, I'll vlog that. And you'll probably notice I was doing a lot of vlogs. And it's not that I hate vlogs, but that's just not the kind of video that I really enjoy doing. That's not what I envisioned the channel turning into. Yeah, I'm sure you, some of you enjoy watching like my vlogs and stuff, but I really want to be useful to y'all. I really want to serve a purpose. I want to give you information that you didn't know. You know, and so a vlog is not the most efficient way to do that. So I wasn't a huge fan of vlogs, but like I, that's the only thing I could really have time to film because I was like, okay, I'm going out and doing this. I might as well just film it and then I'm, I've got a video for, you know, next week or whatever. Um, and so it was just way too tempting to want to do that all the time. And it was starting to like be kind of annoying. And I was like, I really just want to go to this event and enjoy it and not have to vlog it. But I don't have time to film, so I'm going to vlog it. You know, and it's just, it was just starting to get too much. And I was like, you know, I just, I don't need to do this to myself. And that's another thing, like, we're about to finish the semester. And December is like my, one of my favorite times of the whole year because it's around Christmas time. Like you have all the beautiful music and just, it's such a beautiful cozy, you know, like cozy time. And I really don't want to have to stress myself out by trying to film videos during that time. I really just want to totally embrace the break um, and I'm probably I'm probably going to be doing other stuff you know who am I kidding I'm not really gonna rest all that much during the break but I just don't want YouTube to be another thing like added to the list you know that I have to do to make the like the break even less breaky <laughs> you know even less relaxing so that's something that's important to me that I really just want to enjoy the break and take an actual you know respite from like all the work and everything so I just really don't feel like YouTube needs to be a part of what I actually do during the break. Okay, I'm gonna add powder. Love this powder, e.l.f. HD powder. Very versatile, just like the perfect powder. Oh, this is actually a realization, um, I don't know when, it was like a couple, maybe like a month ago, um, when I was in class. And um, like I said something and then uh, one of my classmates said like, oh, is that part of like your YouTube video? Like you're gonna film that? And I was like, what? And she's like, I was like, oh, I didn't realize you watched that. And she's like, yeah, I've been watching it like all through the summer. Like I just watched you. And I was like, like it dawned on me. People actually watch my videos. Like not a ton of people. That's for sure. You can look at my views. <laughs> not a ton of people. But people I never thought would watch it, watch it. Like friends that I, like people I know. For some reason, I wasn't even thinking about people that I know watching it. And so honestly, that kind of scared me a little bit. And I was like, I mean, I'm getting ready to be a professional teacher, you know? And so like, I really want to look professional and be professional. And if I have this YouTube channel where I'm just like doing whatever I feel like, and so acting kind of like a kid, you know, I'm like, I don't know if that's really appropriate. And I don't really, I don't know if I feel comfortable with people actually, that I know actually watching it and then telling me and like giving me feedback and I'm like, I thought that just some random people on the internet would be watching this. I didn't think that people I actually talk to on a regular basis would comment on my video. It's just, it's kind of like it, it's embarrassing. 
Like, I love my videos. I'm very proud of what I was able to do, but it's also really embarrassing because I'm totally being myself and I'm being really just like free and whatever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they're watching this, this is so scary. So I kind of just want to like get rid of that stressor in my life and not have to be afraid of people that I know watching my content because I won't have any content. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think people would watch it. I think I was just like, everyone else but people I know will be watching these videos. Cause like, you know, I don't know why, but yep. So that was something that was unexpected that I was like, nope, can't do it anymore. People are watching it. <gasps> see, it oxidized a little bit. I don't know if you can, you can see it's a little bit darker. It's kind of annoying. Whew. Oh well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows using, not that one using the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil. I have a love-hate relationship with this recently. Like, I don't, I don't love it anymore. <laughs> Maybe it's just a hate relationship. But um, it's just like, it runs out really quickly. It's not really very precise, which at first I didn't think mattered. I don't think I needed super precise pencil because my brows are pretty good anyway. But recently I've been like, you know what? I'd like something a little bit thinner because this is just like, you, it's very fine at first and then you use it and it's like it gets really dull and it's not like something that you can sharpen you know it's just like that's just how it is so I kind of so I didn't plan like this I thought I was going to continue for a while but you know this was only ever really just like an experiment I was like let's just try it I love making videos I love filming I love editing I love editing um so I was like let's just try it and see what happens and it didn't really turn out to be exactly what I expected. I thought it would pick up a little faster. Um, and then also, I just, I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I just keep thinking like, there are other things in my life that I wanna devote more attention to, rather than YouTube. Um, and so I think it's worth it to just kinda like, you know, say I was fun, I enjoyed it, I'm still gonna keep my videos up, cause I love them, I'm proud of them. It's like I have a whole snapshot of my, my year. <laughs> So I'm super proud of them, but I'm also really excited to kind of, you know, say goodbye to this chapter of my life and just, you know, see what happens in the future. And it'll be honestly really nice to not have to like set up the camera and all this stuff. Just kind of enjoy, enjoy my life and film occasionally if I ever feel like it, but not feel like pressured to upload a video every Sunday, you know? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Uh, blush. It's just called e.l.f. blush. The shade is, uh, wait, Twinkle Pink. This is the shade. I actually love this blush. Love it to death. It's very beautiful. And I don't know, recently I've just been really thinking about my life in general and just like what I wanna, like what impact I wanna leave and like what I wanna actually like be and focus on. And recently I've really been neglecting uh, my prayer life, like not not neglecting, neglecting, like there's certain things that I'm always gonna do every single day, no matter what. But I used to do more, and I wanna do more. Um, but when I have too many commitments going on, it's just hard to, to do what you think is really important to you. Um, so that's just something that I'm like, you know what, I need you to stop making excuses. I need to cut some things out just so like I, I have no leg to stand on, you know, when I say, oh, I'm too busy, it's like, no. You were able to do this when you were doing you know, YouTube or whatever, so there's no excuse. So I really just want to go closer to Jesus and just, just be more present to people, you know, and just be more present to him and not feel like I'm running from one thing to another to another. Because I tend to fill up my schedule with a ton of things. Hang on, let me pause so I can just keep doing makeup. Wet and Wild, Nude Awakenings palette. So anyway, I just want some time to sit and be silent and relax and not going from one thing to another to another. And I know that I'm probably still going to go from one thing to another to another, but cutting out YouTube is gonna be a really, really nice way of freeing up some time for myself. Um, and like, I feel like nowadays, like being busy and like having so much going on is like a fad. It's like popular to be crazy busy. like to the point of like insanity. Like, I have several friends that are like that, that they're super busy and I don't know, I'm like, I don't know. Even have people make fun of me that I like don't have as much going on. And like, I don't, I get that sometimes when people have a ton of 
a ton of things. They they look really cool and like they've they've got it all together because they're able to juggle so many things. But like if you're just so busy that you have no time to just sit and like relax for a little bit, like there's no way that you're gonna be able to hear what God wants you to do in your life. There's no way that you're gonna be able to just you know be present to people around you and relax and have a, like a nice fulfilling calm life you know um so there there is something to be said for you know being busy and productive and everything but there's also something to be said for rest and i'm someone who needs to be reminded about that um a lot all the time because i really love being busy and having a lot of stuff going on and yeah so i'm just i really need to relax and just I don't know. I'm very excited about it, honestly. Oh, <laughs> I'm using the 100% um, Pure Naked palette. The shade is Kitty Cat. Cute. That's what, no, it's not Kitty Cat. Yes, it is. It is, no, not Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat was my favorite shade ever. Um, I use it on my eyelids all the time. It was so beautiful, so sparkly. And when I was little, when I was two, I used to say Kitty Cat all the time. That was like my thing. But now, no, I'm using the Bare Hours shade all over my leg. Um, anyway, I'm just, I'm really excited about um, quitting, honestly. And I, I hate to use the word quitting, but I am, that's what I'm doing. I'm quitting, and I'm not gonna deny it, I'm quitting. I'm not coming back, you know? I'm, I mean, I can't say if I'm 100% sure if I'm not coming back, but like, at this moment, I'm not intending on continuing, because I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm kind of burnt out from school, and I'm, I'm like, like, I love being creative, I love it. So I'm using the ColourPop um, liquid liner pencil. This is in the shade brown. Um, so I, lo I love being creative. It's something that is very important to me. I want to have an outlet where I can express myself and you know it be like de-stressing. Hang on, I can't talk right now. Hang on, just a minute. Sorry, my camera died. So I just did my eyeliner. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I like being creative, I really do. Um, that's why I love makeup so much, because it's creative and I can look different ways, you know, depending on my mood and all of that. Um, but this was just getting to be too much work for you know, just a creative outlet. I mean, I was worrying about the, um, how many subscribers I had and the comments I got and all of that. And it was just like, not worth it you know and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Man Eater mascara hate the name love the mascara and you know I'm just I'm ready to be done I'm you know very excited about what I was able to do and it was definitely worth it and if I went back and you know thought about it again I would still have done it because I enjoyed it and it's been really fun um, but I'm ready to move on to a new stage in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and just move on and just, you know, try something different. Um, kind of in a highlight mood today. I have not, I have not used this palette in so long. Um, but I just haven't been in a highlight mood, but I kind of am in one. Oh, well, my blush is kind of highlighty. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna look sparkle princess or whatever. I want to look mature and like an adult, okay? I don't want a little girl who just found her mommy's makeup and started playing with it and got sparkles all over her face. <laughs> um, I'm gonna apply lipstick. Uh, there's one, hang on, in my purse. I've really been enjoying it recently. This one here, it's L'Oreal Peony Pink Lipstick. It's really pretty. It's pretty bright, but I feel like I can... I can pass off bright lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that to my lips. Pretty. Yeah, this has kind of been uh, what I've been going for. Recently just as an everyday look. Um, last thing, I'm gonna apply my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. Love this stuff to death. I actually convinced my sister to get one. <laughs> she was already thinking about it, but she was trying to decide on a setting mist, and I was like, get this one, it smells so good, and it's like awesome. So she did, hopefully she likes it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it. I have a fan, but I never use it. And dip my hair down. Oh uh, yeah. 
and we're done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you've enjoyed my channel for those of you who've watched it for this past year. I have really enjoyed making it. It's been super fun. I've learned a ton about you know filming and editing and all of that. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed. I'm sorry for those of you who are disappointed that I am leaving, but it's something I need to do for me and I'm actually really, really excited about it. So I hope you all have a super, super sparkly day and thank y'all so much for everything. Bye y'all.